Chamber Music has been performing at the Scarab Club since 1998. Next up, we take a closer look at how the musical performances come to life at the historic venue. Chamber music is when small groups of musicians get together and play uh, pieces that usually are written with no conductor in mind. And uh, the musicians have to play off of one another and really pay attention and uh, it's, it's great fun and takes a lot of concentration. So you really need to know the score and understand what everybody else is doing. You can't just follow a beat, you have to really play together. And I think because it's such a challenge, it's, it's really enjoyable. It is kind of like a test. I mean, in, and when, you, when it comes out well, you feel you've accomplished something great. A lot of chamber music is like a conversation. So uh, you, you say or play something, one, one musician plays something and the other musician answers. Um, sometimes one musician is just sort of under the layer of, of the solo line. Um, so there's, there's lots of different things going on and it's, it's, it's a good challenge. It's, it's really um, something that I would hate to not be able to do. I'm going to ask you one more terribly unfair question. Okay. So you're a member of the Michigan Opera Theater Orchestra. You've played and play with the Detroit Symphony, and you teach bazillions of students. Well, maybe not bazillions, but... Well, okay, gazillions. <laughs> and, and you have this chamber series at the Scarab Club. Mm -hmm. If you could only do one... Hmm. I was afraid you were going to say that. I can't choose. I think that's what's best about my life. You know, every, uh, I, that's what I'm most grateful for, is that I can do all of it. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's I, I couldn't choose. I just couldn't. Let's turn off the metronome for a second and play the scale through at least to third position, because I think once you get there, you'll be okay. Let's try it together with the turnaround. I personally, with my teaching, see a lot of excitement across the board. Um, inner city Detroit kids, um, suburban kids, all really, really loving classical music. They love to play it, they love to listen to it. Um, whether we're always getting everybody to come to concerts and enjoy concerts, I don't know how successful we are. We have to work harder at that. Um, but I think everybody loves this kind of music just about everybody loves this kind of music once they get to know it. Our chamber music series uh, became chamber music at the Scarab Club because we found that the Scarab Club was a great place to play and we started out with uh, classical jam sessions there uh, where musicians would come and just read music and play for a casual audience. I think that there's a lot of excitement about the arts in Detroit right now. And um, there are many, many people, especially young people, who are, who are getting into classical music, all kinds of different music. And they come to programs like ours um, and are surprised to see how much they can enjoy it. And one of the great things about, about our series is that it's in a small venue and people can feel really comfortable and um, see exactly what's going on. We all need to be ambassadors for what we do and make sure that people understand that it's, it's, it's exciting. We have to show them that we love it and why we love it or else, you know, people don't know they, they, and they won't try it. So, so we try to encourage people to try it and see if they like it.
I see people all the time who come to our concerts who are from other cities. I met somebody just now, just this morning at the Scarab Club, who was here for an exhibit at the DIA. And she was saying, I, I keep hearing bad things about Detroit, but it's a wonderful city. I mean, there's so much going on. What a great museum and classical music everywhere and lots of opportunities. Um, yeah, I, I, I think that Detroit gets a, a very bad reputation for no good reason, especially now. There's plenty going on.